going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello, welcome to God's View. Now listen, you're going to see we have the same outfit on right now. So don't say, oh, I've already seen that show. We've, we've heard that so many times. <laughs> but we just kept the same uh, tops on. So uh, please stay with us. It's a ministry show. And you're going to just love, love, love it, okay? Because God always speaks to people. He speaks to them mightily. And so we want to make sure that you uh, don't go, oh, whoops, seen that one next. You know? <laughs> yes. And so anyways, mm -hmm. let's get right into it. But first, listen, while we're going through the program, please, I always say this, remember to call the prayer lines. Because God wants you. Know, he set things up as agreement. And I always say that what's lacking in life and what's been lacking is true agreement. People say, yeah, yeah, I pray for that. But they really don't go through the, to the throne of God and really take that situation to the Father. And so we're going to take it to the Father for you. We're going to take it mm -hmm. serious. And we're going to see your breakthrough in Jesus' name, yes. okay? Alrighty, and with that said, I'm Charlene back to Marion, your God's View show host. Mm -hmm. This is Stephanie Bash. We have Priscilla Pruitt. We have Lana Gardner. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and we're ready to roll here and go. And, uh, you know, one thing, you know, we always say on this show is God does have a view. And God does have a view personally for you. Because he does. Mm -hmm. God's a personal God. Mm -hmm. And then we try to bring to the best of our ability God's view. You know, mm -hmm. we want to listen to the Holy Spirit. And we want to deliver what God delivers. Okay, so does anybody want to go first? Go for it. This I, is a ministry show, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're just ministering. So, um, yeah, go ahead. Do you feel like you have something? I do. Okay, okay I, let's I go. I heard the word help right away. Somebody was Ooh. calling for help. Ooh. And so it says in Isaiah 41.10, Fear not, for I am with you. Yeah. Be not dismayed, mm. for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I uphold you with my righteous right hand. And then in Psalms 32, it says, Lord, my God, I called to you for help. And you healed me. So right now, I just I saw you in your Jesus. living room, and you were just saying, I need help. I don't even know what the answer is. Mm -hmm. I need help. And I just read to you scriptures out of the Bible where it says you don't have to fear that God hears you when you cry for help. And you don't have to be dismayed over your circumstances, that he is your God. If you call on the name of Jesus and you receive him, he is your God, and he will strengthen you, and he will help you, and he will heal your body. Mm -hmm. So right now, I thank you in Jesus' yes. name. We just declare over you that you receive that yes. tangible presence of God in your living room right now yes. and that you are being helped, that as it is in heaven, it is here on earth and that your body is being healed, your mind is being restored yes. and your finances are coming back to you. Your finances are coming back to you. That's the big part right there is you didn't know what you were going to do, but God says he's going to send help for you and that he's going to give you strategies to help you get out of debt and then he's going to help you as you do that. He's going to pave the way for you. So we thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you. Yeah. It's so cool that yes. verse you used said, dismayed. Do yes. not be dismayed, for I'm mm -hmm. your God. And I kept hearing dismayed, and I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And then you say it, and I'm like, what does that mean? So I looked it up, and it says, to cause to lose courage or resolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of an alarm Ooh, or because of a fear. Gave me Must not let ourselves be dismayed by the task before us. That's just an example. It's to, right. um, to be perplexed, to be... Um, Concerned. Yeah, immediately it's so yes. good. Wow. Um, to lose courage, though, and it says to to be fearful, to be uh, yeah. because of alarm of fear. So it's. I, I feel like God's just saying that there's someone out there that is just fearful, that is just mm -hmm. losing their courage right now because of everything going on around them. I don't know exactly what your situation may be. God hasn't shown me that, but He does say, like what the verse she said, "Do not be afraid, for I am with I you." I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and uphold you. I would lift you up with my righteous right arm. Yes. So God, that same verse goes for you as well. God is speaking, like He spoke it to her, and I was like, "I'm hearing dismayed, but what am I going to say? Someone's dismayed. I don't even know what that means." And then she brought so much um, just light to that. And so that same word goes for you. It's a, it might be a different situation with that person, but. Whatever your situation may be, God says that he's there. Do not be afraid that he is going to come alongside you. Just seek him. Give him a sacrifice of praise. Just sit in your yeah, living yes. room. Put some worship yeah. music on. Just mm -hmm. start saying, God, even if this happens, you are good. Even if my prayer doesn't happen right now the way I want it, you are good. I Amen. trust you even Amen. if. Amen. I will always trust you, Lord. And just always. start worshiping him and prophesying yes. into that situation and watch. It's going to change. That's Those mountains right. will move. That's right. That's good. Amen. Yeah. And, and you know, 
God is talking firmly to, to you yes. and saying, build your house. Mm. Build your house and start with your husband. Amen. And he's saying, admire, adore, respect him. And go to your husband and say, thank you for going to work every day and putting food on the table. Start with that. Mm. Yeah. And start mm -hmm. asking God, what are his attributes? You know, we only have 24 hours of the day. And when a second goes by, if we're spending that second or minute or 24 hours whining, complaining, self-pity God hates, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if we're spending that, we're, we're wasting our time. That's good. And, you know, when you speak life, it, it lifts your face. Mm -hmm. it, it takes away yes. wrinkles, doesn't yeah. it? Yes, really it sure does. does. It does. <laughs> and God's saying, this is your job. Do your job. Mm, yeah. That's yeah, good. That's good. And, and the thing is, is God is a now God. Mm -hmm. He is a now God. And God mm -hmm. wants you to get out of looking back because mm -hmm. he's a God that is now. And, and if you learn this, he's saying, I'm a now God. See, God is not in a minute ago. And he asked us to press on to the high call, the prize, that mark which he has called us to. He's not a God. He, the, our God that we serve does not look behind. He's a now God. And his bride, he is saying to many of you right now. Now, there's some of you that have, listen, you, you, you're fine. You, you know, you haven't stepped into this trap. I understand that. But there's are those of you that have been in a mindset mm -hmm. of past uh, yesterday, past anointings, past mm. meetings, mm -hmm. past all these things. And as you're there and then you're screaming, God, I need your power. God, I need your power. But yet you're comparing it to yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he, you know what? He loves you more than yesterday. He's new yes. every morning. Great is his faithfulness. All that wonderful stuff. But God is a now God. He's a present God. And when you learn to hook up with that, God wants to say there's explosion. There's manifestations. There's power in that. There's That's everything good. in that shift. And so he's saying to you, come out of that old place into the new that I have predestined and ordained for you. Because that's where you're going to flourish. That's where you're going to do the things, the great and mighty things that you know us not as you've called me. You're going to do the greater works as I left and said you greater works. I did good mm. works, but you're going to do greater works That's good. because I'm going to the Father. It's in that now place, in that mindset with God of a now moment mm -hmm. that when you're in a mm -hmm. when you're in a service or you're wherever your mind isn't doing laundry and your mind isn't going to lunch with so and so your mind is right on the very present thing that God is speaking of because mm -hmm. there's too many things God has taken off those old mantles and all that stuff that keeps connect we Amen. should respect those back here hey yes. respect Catherine Coleman respect yes. Wigglesworth respect them all but stop wanting the same move that's true yeah because there's mm -hmm. a greater yeah. move yes this that's is awesome. this greater is a glory. this is a mm -hmm. season yes. and a time mm -hmm. and a dispensation on earth that is like no other it's like Amen. when the cross when jesus died on that cross and that big earthquake that was like no other earthquake <laughs> i bet on earth mm -hmm. and when people <laughs> fell to their the knees and said truly he was the son yes. of god yep. this is what god is doing and when you come into that now place you're going to be saying truly this is the son of God. Truly, this exactly. is heaven. Yes. Truly, things are yes. manifesting because God wants signs, mm -hmm. wonders, and miracles. It's not Him that's that's you know back here. Mm -hmm. It's the way we believe. It's our mindsets. It's what we're doing to stop and hinder the situation. Mm -hmm. So God is saying, "Come into the now. Come out of those old mindsets." Mm -hmm. He's taken off that mentality mm -hmm. of well, well, look at what happened over there. I don't care what happened yesterday. I want to know what God's doing right now, right. Yes. what he's doing in the meeting. You know, you can't go in a meeting and go like this. Well, we seen so-and-so last week. Angels came on the sky. Jewels fell. Mm -hmm. Gold was all <laughs> over. What do you got? <laughs> yeah. Right there, you will equal nothing. There will be no equal, yes. no results, no manifestations mm -hmm. because you have expected something in the natural you compared it to something that god maybe that day he was going to say man am i going to do something good today mm -hmm. but he didn't have a person in the place believing him 
Yeah. He didn't have a person there believing him because they were talking. They were thinking about, yeah, yeah, Catherine Coomer, who did the meeting mm -hmm. last week? What did they do? Look mm -hmm. at that. Come on, what you got? You know, and then it makes the hole in the room you're part of stopping the shift and the manifest of the presence of the glory of God in that mm -hmm. room because yep. we're all in this thing together. Yeah. So God is correcting some people right now and he's trying to help mm -hmm. us and trying to bring us into a mindset of kingdom now when yes. he's moving yes. right then That's in the right. room mm -hmm. so that we can we can get the benefits. Yeah. We're the one who gets the benefit yes. from that. Yeah. Amen. You know I mean? Sure. And, you know, I feel like someone's watching that um, might have... I don't know how to explain this, but you, you've, you've talked crap about Christians. You've cursed Christians. You haven't believed them. You've, wow. you've yeah. doubted what they're saying. You've almost uh, just made mockery of them. And, you know, I want, you to, I want to encourage you to read the story of Saul because Saul hated Christians. And he not only hated them, but he hunted them. And he would slaughter them. He would cut off their heads. He was a horrible man. Mm -hmm. And God changed his life, gave him this encounter that, that he made him blind for three days. And it was just the most amazing story. And he mm -hmm. turned out to be one of the greatest apostles of Christ that he wrote, I believe it's two thirds of the New Testament. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Just such an incredible, yes. he made, planted so many <laughs> yes. churches. He's and the greatest so, missionary of God. Greatest missionary we have ever had in, in Christianity. And you know what? I just want to encourage you that, that if you don't know Christ and you haven't had that encounter, God wants to, he's calling you out Amen. right now. You're watching this and he's Amen. calling you so out. Forth. God wants to give you an encounter, a Saul encounter, where you're going to become like Paul, just like he did. God changed yes. his name, That's changed good. his life, and God wants mm -hmm. to do the same for you. Yeah. You're, you're, ask, you're actually asking yourself right now, is this really me? Can she be talking to me? And yes, yes. God is speaking yes. to you right it's now. Huge, huge. And so just ask heart. yourself, <laughs> yes. what do you have to lose? Ask yourself, if this is really you, Jesus, reveal yourself to me and just wait and see what God's going to do in your life. I know it's going to be great. Amen. You know, I, I just feel to piggyback on that yes. is first fruits. I just keep hearing first fruits, first fruits. Everything you do, it's got to be Jesus first. As soon as you get a paycheck, you've got to give your 10% tithe and 5% offering to the Lord, first fruits. And when you get up in the morning, the first thing that you do, it's got to be time with the Lord and his word and prayer. And I, I know right now you are saying you don't have time, but it's interesting because you, you have time to shop. You have time to watch your favorite TV show. Well, then you have time for Jesus. And it's a matter of discipline. And you, you have discipline. There are times when you say no to that cookie or no to that piece of cake. Will you say no to anything but Jesus? He's drawing in his church. He's not messing around right now. And know that you are very important to him. And he's talking to your heart because he's got great things for you. Better than anything or anyone on the face of this earth has for you. So don't waste your time. Amen. Yeah. My, I heard the name Joe. And mm. what I saw was, Joe, that you were just running your hands through your hair after work. <laughs> and you were just so frustrated. But what I saw was you were burdened down. And you are heavy. And the word of God says, Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. And what he wants you to know is if you will just come to him right now, right where you're at and just say, Jesus, lift mm -hmm. this burden off of me. I am weary. I am tired. I'm doing all that I can do, but I don't understand what this is that I, that is, um, bearing down on me. Mm -hmm. And he said, you are carrying the cares of the world. And he tells you, just cast them at his feet. Mm. Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Joe, he cares for you. Mm -hmm. he, he, right now, I asked him, who needs you? And he said, my son, Joe. He's so weary. He's so burdened that he can't even carry the things he should carry, the normal activities. In fact, it's caused back pain. So, Heavenly mm -hmm. Father, I thank you that yeah. you Hallelujah. heal mm -hmm. Joe's back right now. That mm -hmm. I, I just see... Um, his vertebrae just lining up, straightening up, 
the strength mm -hmm. of the muscles and everything coming around and that burden is lifted off of you right yes, now amen. in Jesus name and the cares of the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you Lord for Joe's yes, life and that yeah. he surrenders to you and his household will be saved as he changes in Thank Jesus you, name. Thank you. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. amen. You know there's someone out there that's so mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. They've been betrayed, they've been abused, they they can't mm -hmm. understand, can't understand why. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Job was at that point, too. He couldn't understand why he was being attacked so much. Mm -hmm. and, and this has been going on for a long time, and you're praying and so forth. Mm -hmm. Well, just ask the Lord what you have to learn from all of yeah. this. Let him zero in on it, because whatever... See, all this attack is always satanic. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we open the door. Mm -hmm. You know, many people, we, we won't admit it. We don't want to blame ourselves. Heavens, no. Right. But, but we open the door to satanic attack. Yeah. So ask the Lord, where have I opened the door? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? So that I could learn from this and, and latch on to Jesus. Mm. And all their pain, you, know, you just don't want to let your your pain be for no purpose. You know, right. don't give the devil the glory. No. You know, because uh, mm -hmm. all of our pain and our trials, and I, you know, this is no rocket scientist, but I've always, you know, always said this. You know, it's it's where your miracles are birthed. Things are birthed in pain. The woman, when her hour had come in the Bible, and she was in such anguish and so much pain, it's because she was giving birth. Mm -hmm. And you're giving birth to things. In those times of your trials and painful things, I mean, look at some of the greatest songs came out of the worst situations yes. in yep. life. Yes. Of children dying or yeah. what, however. Well. And <laughs> great songs have come yeah. out of yeah. uh, things. The, the, the biggest thing we can do and the biggest black eye we can give Satan is if we do not let our pain go with no yep. purpose. Mm. And just like Lana said, God, use this for your glory. Yes. Use Literally. this. You know, uh, just let it not go without purpose. That's all I can say mm -hmm. is because, that you know, there's purpose in everything. God had a plan for our life. And let me encourage you again, and I, I say this scripture so many times a month, that every one of your days, my days, our days, was written in the book before mm -hmm. one, before one, they were ordained, God exactly. said. Mm -hmm. And before one come to pass, it was already done, done deal. So he knew you'd be tuning in today. Yes. He knew what would be uh, just lifting up your heart. He knew everything we would be saying. He knew everybody that would be watching. That ought to give people such hope. Yes. You know, I, I posted on Facebook a little while back, um, when things are taken, things are shaken. Mm. You know, when God starts taking things, it's, it's amazing how all of a sudden you start crying out for finances. Yep. And, and, yeah. and, or if, you know, healing, when, when something is taken, mm. people are shaken and they, the attention is held. And then they get, okay, God, what's going right. on? Uh, yes, sir. What's going on here? You know, salute to heaven mm -hmm. so that he can download. But, you know, sometimes if everything's just going along just great, you know, every one of us get lackadaisy. We think, oh, yeah, this is cool. This cool yeah. season in life. You know, right. this is great. Right. You know, mm -hmm. we can yep. kind of just like hang. No, yep. you can never let your That's guard right. down with the enemy. Ever yes. let your guard yes. down yep. with the enemy. So good. Because he is there every second just like making a roaring sure lion. he could take. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's toothless, but he's a roaring lion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he roars weird. <laughs> 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 That's how he was. We roar. Because we're the bride of Christ, man. Yep, man. We got the real roar and the anointing That's from right. heaven. Like the to verse speak he said. Speak and change things and cast mountains into seas <laughs> right. and shift atmospheres, yes. shift situations, bring glory into the situation. That's right. We have a roar that's a real authentic roar from yes. our Father because he dwells in us. Amen. So we know that in, in us is Jesus Christ. And when he came into us, he seated us in heavenly places. The same place with mm -hmm. him so we have the same authority the yes. same power everything to change and shift everything just like he does and he sits up there just tapping his foot say come on honey <laughs> do it come on yeah yes. he's just up there ever making intercession for us he's joining <coughs> with us and saying yeah we got yeah. this we got mm -hmm. this one uh bye-bye devil <laughs> bye-bye devil uh-huh talk to the hand <laughs>
Amen. <laughs> and there's a man, uh, there's a man out there, and God is saying to you, the way you carried your son, so I will carry you. Mm. Amen. That's beautiful. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 he he says you feel very lonely, very abandoned now, mm -hmm. but you're not. I'm with you, mm -hmm. and I I I will hold you tenderly and lovingly just in the ways that you care, have carried your son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a and, man that somebody keeps saying, and it's been two women in your life, and all your life they kept saying that, you know, only babies, men, babies cry. Mm -hmm. Men that are, that men, they don't cry. They don't shed a tear. But the Lord wants you to know he loves your tears. Yes. He loves, he your loves tender the heart. tenderness of your heart. Amen. He created Amen. you that way. And these two voices that were close mm -hmm. to you, I'm thinking mm -hmm. it was a mother and a sister. And well, I'm not thinking, I don't like that word. I know it. Yes. It was a mom and a sister. God just brought them to me. And all your life, mm -hmm. they said those things to you. And so it kind of hardened you and you didn't know what to do but yet you cry before the Lord at night and the Lord loves it yes. and you're even saying to the Lord well I'm just I'm just so weak because I'm crying and, and please help me not to cry Lord and he's saying cry more <laughs> cry more cry more Cory yeah that's you, you know what that that was your name Corey and Lord he says cry more yes. cry more Cry more. I love it. I catch every tear and I'm putting it in a multicolored face mm -hmm. that has faceted anointings, pouring it back out upon you with a yes and an amen. And I enjoy it, says the Lord. I enjoy every tear you've cried mm -hmm. and I've caught every tear you cried. And I love it, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the Lord says, now you have to stop those voices, no matter how much they say it, no matter how much it has been heard in your ears, you render it null and void. Right now, I render all those words null and void yes. I say the enemy cannot use them the devil himself or his ministering spirits demons to use them against Corey yeah. never again yes. and Amen. Lord he will not hear those words he will know the beauty of God yes. and I know God's going to allow you to see this he's going to allow you to see this Corey he is in Jesus name it's Amen. a new day for yes. you mm -hmm. you're not a baby you're a man of God Amen. Amen. Right. and there's someone out there that has been I don't know if you were knocked down because of a job, but you, you feel down. You just feel like you're knocked in the dust and you're just knocked down. And you're just tired. You're weary. And God gave me this scripture for you. It's Isaiah 52, 2, and it says, Shake yourself from the dust. Rise up, O captive Jerusalem. Loose yourself from the chains around your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. So God is calling you to rise up right now, to just in the spirit right now, just loosen that chain that's around your yes, neck. Yes. Dust it off. Yes. God is saying, get up. Yeah. I am going to give you the strength. Yeah. Rise up. The time is now. God is going to renew your strength. Just believe in him. Just yes. say, Lord, I'm going to believe in this word right now. I'm going to loosen the chains off of me. Yes. I'm going to clean that dust off of me, and I'm going to walk in your glory. Yes, yes. Andy, Amen. do you have something? Andy, do you have something? And we'll just say it. Is there something that you have? Mm, yeah, you got something. You're going to get something. So anyways, yeah, because he always has something so good. Yeah. Okay, five minutes. Woo, we're, well, we're a whole lot of sharing. You, you know, okay, uh, just know that whoever Priscilla has been talking to, Jesus, he paid it all. Why should Jesus punish you for what his son has already paid the price for? Amen? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And and just trust him. Just stand on his word. Just mm -hmm. give all your worries and cares over to him. And there's a scripture that tells us, be anxious for nothing. So I just speak the joy of the Lord yes. into you. Joy is a spirit. If you lose your joy, you, you lose your strength. Yeah. The, the joy of the Lord is your strength, is what the scriptures say. So I receive joy. Yes. In well, Jesus' I'm glad she said it. She wanted to say yeah. something. But she, no, go ahead. It, you was, might have it was about laughter and okay. joy. Yes. That a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And I saw somebody just crushed. But he's going to bring back Ooh. your laughter and your joy. And he said mm -hmm. that he's going to show you things that you thought 
were just silly and you just shook them off and you got irritated, but he's going to turn it around and you're going to begin laughing because God laughs at the enemy from the throne room of heaven because mm -hmm. he knows his end is short and done. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you begin to laugh. He's going to heal your spirit and he's going to heal your body. You gave me goosebumps yes. because I feel like that was yeah. for the same person. Yes. yes. I feel yes. like that was yeah. all for that same Amen. person that God yeah. just loves Amen. you so much that he sent yes. you three confirmations. <laughs> three <laughs> confirmations. Amen. That's, that's awesome. Yes. God. You know, God just so loves mm -hmm. us and, and that's the thing you got to remember today. Yes. And, um, you know, in, in ministry, when, when God has given us words like this today and called out names and everything else, I mean, he loves you so much. I mean, yeah. it, it, and it, you just connect. It's like the, I mean, it does, things mm -hmm. just aren't happenstance. You know, you'll say, wow, that was really wild. I was thinking of that person, then I ran in them today. Mm -hmm. Well, because God had some kind of purpose and plan in it. And, you know, I'll tell you, God wants you to go forth right now in just a new power, a new uh, joy, a new strength, because like Lana just said, the joy of the Lord is our strength mm -hmm. and, and laughter doeth good like a medicine. And because there's been such a heavy, heavy weight mm -hmm. on the nation and on the world, yeah. on the world. And, and we all carry that. We all feel that yeah. because it affects us. Okay. Right. And when it affects us, it affects heaven. It affects us. It affects, the, affects everybody, affects uh, your plan, what God's plan is. It affects our children. It affects generations. And yeah. so, of course, we're going to feel that heavy weight. But all we need to do is continue to roar what heaven roars and listen to his source, okay? Yes. And with that said, please, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, just ask him, please, today to come into your life. Yes. It'll be the best thing you've ever done. Trust me, the best thing you've ever done. You know, he is the only way, truth, and life. He is the only way to the Father. There's no other way to the Father but through Jesus Christ. I know people say there's this and there's that, but he is the true way. I've tried all kinds of other mm -hmm. uh, gods when I was uh, younger, you know, just weird things. I found myself in Hare Krishna temples, and, <laughs> and believe me, they weren't, that ain't going to happen. And, but Jesus, he's powerful. Mm -hmm. When he came into my life, it changed everything. That's all you had to do, call in his name, and you will be saved. And if you did that, then ask him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit with fire. And I'll tell you what, you'll change. You'll get a prayer language, and it'll shift things in your life. And then call us at 307-637-PRAY and tell us about it. Rejoice that you're going to heaven, because all heaven rejoices if one person comes to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then go to our website today. If you, you know, can today help us out, uh, order a product there and what you do, it's just a love offering. This one happens to be $20 or more love offering at anointing oil. It's fabulous. Not only is it anointed, it has that rose of Sharon cap, you know, talking of Jesus, pearl for your great value, and it smells delicious and it's anointed. Mm -hmm. And it helps us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and we, we need your help today. So if we've been a blessing to you, bless us, you get the same reward. You get the same reward in heaven. Just by writing the check, we'll do the work. We'll yes. do the groundwork. Amen. And you get a reward. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. That's the way God sets up things so we all can benefit. Because that's Amen. the kind of God yeah. we serve. That's so good. don't forget. Mm -hmm. And go to our website. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, we're on YouTube. We're on Firestick. We're on um, uh, Roku. Yeah, Roku, Fire Stick, Google, all kinds of all kinds of different outlets. Look us up, check us out today, and watch us online. God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. It's only goodbye for today. Thank you for joining us. Going around the globe.